Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the um, Swatch Them All Week 16. I completely forgot what I was talking about then. Um, Swatch Them All Week 16. I really thought that I was going to kind of stop at 15. I've got my swatch pile so far down and then recently I've really been drawn to wearing green and um, I just don't know why I was going through my camera roll of photos I had to swatch and I had six greens already worn and I was like this has got Swatch Them All Week written all over it. So yeah, that's what we're here. Switch Them All Week 16 for greens. I'm just gonna go at them at random and not in the order that I wore them because I can't remember what order I wore them. So here we go. We'll start with them, which would be in brand order. That might be nice. The one that I have on my nails today is Suzy First Lady of Nails by OPI. This came out in the Washington DC collection and it was one of the ones I picked out like two weeks ago on sale in Sally, so you may still be able to get this on sale. It is a very nice like army camo green. It's similar to Uh Oh Roll Down the Window by OPI, but that's more grey tone. This is more green. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I've kind of given up on summer and I've moved on to autumn already, so I'm all about wearing the dark nails and I love this. Two coats get completely opaque, perfect cream formula. Susie, First Lady of Nails by OPI. Then we're flashing back, and this is a very old, much older OPI, and this is Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow. I believe this came out in the Spanish collection, I want to say. Um, this is a very nice jelly um, green. It's almost dark, but it's probably going to look black to some people, but it's a very, very nice dark forest green. It's kind of like this, but just darker and a little bit more like jellyish. So it will take three coats to get opaque on your nails because of that jelly formula, but it is super shiny, like surprisingly shiny. Um, so yeah, here today, Aragon Tomorrow by OPI. More to the teal end of green, we have Victoriana by Butter London. I picked this one up because it was in Holly's top 10 Butter Londons and I can completely see why. This is a beautiful green leaning teal. On the scale of teal, we have it all going to blue or to green. This is more on the green side of things with a super strong silver shimmer. This is completely apparent on the nails. It's beautiful. Um, I wore this to work on, what day are we on now? I wore it to work on Monday and I absolutely just, I just loved it. So two coats to get completely opaque and that shimmer is just so nice and apparent and it's so nice and easy to remove because it's a shimmer and not a glitter. Let me pick up whatever toy Austin's just knocked over. This is two coats of Victoriana. No need to panic, we just kicked over the garage with all the cars in, it's all fine. On to China guys, we have two. The first one is called Emerald Sparkle. I also speak about this in my Throwback Thursday video which is going up on Thursday. Um, and this is just beautiful, it's everything. I love it so much. It's a dark jelly, green jelly base with a ton of bright emerald glitters in there. This is exactly like Ruby Pumps and Dorothy Who where it's gonna be really easy to remove. Although it's super glittery and super shiny, for some reason it just removes really easily on your nails. So completely opaque in two, we have Emerald Sparkle by China Glaze. And this is also gonna be talked about for a third time because if two times isn't enough in my updated Lemmings video very soon. Another green that's also going to feature in that Lemmings video is China Glaze Zombie Zest. I know a lot of people out there want this and it's all because of Holly, so that's completely her fault. Um, this is a really nice, like, kind of murky olive base with a very strong light green shimmer in here and a little bit of gold as well. Now, the only thing with this is I didn't realise how sheer this was going to be. And I got, of course, in time it's going to thicken up, but this took me three coats to get completely opaque and they were thick three coats. Um, I love the overall finish of it, I just wish it was more opaque quicker. And again, it will happen over time, but just on first use, I was a little bit surprised because I didn't realise it was going to be so sheer. So what you're seeing is three thick coats of Zombie Zest by China Glaze. Then we move on to another sheer polish, and this is called You Don't Know Jack About My Beans by um, Super Chick Lacquer. Now this is an extremely, extremely thin formula. I broke my rule of three coats and I'm done with this because three coats looked so bad 
Um, I literally was like, I can't, I can't, this can't even happen. So I put on a fourth coat and I did really love it. Again, I just wish it was thicker, quicker. Um, with a couple of the ones that I have, especially from this collection, which was like a fantasy, like fairy tale collection, they are sheerer, but the combination, I don't know if you can see, of shimmers and glitters is just stunning. So this has got like a coppery red flash and there's also kind of like a shimmery of like hollow almost running through it. It's very weird, very unique. It's just so sheer, so sheer. So four coats of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans by Super Chick Lacquer. Wrapping up the green week, we have Electric Lemonade by Glisten and Glow. This is their bright lime green hollow, which came out in the Cocktails collection. Um, as I've said, I'm kind of over the summer colours, but I'm trying to force myself on sunnier days to wear hollows while the sun is here, because I've got a feeling once we hit autumn, it's going to be even more dark than it has been through summer. Um, so this is a really nice hollow. Is there, like all the ones that I've tried from the cocktail collections, they are very silver based. So when you remove them, you will remove the green layer and then you will just see the pure like silver hollow underneath. So it does take two coats to get completely opaque. This is Electric Lemonade by Glisten and Glow. So those are the seven greens that I wore for this week's um, Swatch Them All Week 16 video. I will try and do another one of these in a month or so. When I, It was quite nice to organically come, across, uh, come away with a theme. Like I've never really done that before. I've always sat and planned out which ones I'm going to wear. Um, but for now, let me know down below what some of your favourite greens are. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.